Hey everybody, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel, myself Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro fast. Today we're going to discuss how to send emails from Excel with attachments using Power Automate. So first of all, we're going to use a table in Excel sheet in which we have some data about some employees. We have their names, addresses, email addresses, the duration they have been working with us and their respective attachments. So we want to send these attachments that are associated with each employee against their email address. So let's see the files that we are going to send. I'll open my drive and I'll go to the folder. These are the files we'll be sending. You'll notice we have the same name of the files as the user's name. This is needed for our Power Automate workflow to work and this is also going to keep things symmetrical. We also need to make sure that all the files and our Excel file are in the same folder. For this video, we're not going to use any API extension or any other third party tool. We'll use Power Automate which is already available to us. You can easily open it from Office 365. So now we need to create a new flow into Power Automate. For that, click on this create button. From here, we have several options. We need to go for instant cloud flow. Now we need to give a name to our flow. I'll name it mail merge with Excel. After that, we need to select an option from the list. We need to select for a selected row option because we'll be sending the email to the email addresses that are there in the rows in the Excel sheet. The first thing we need to do in our flow is to create a trigger. The trigger is something that will initiate the flow in Power Automation. So first of all, we need to select a location. Click on the drop down arrow and select one drive for business. Then for the document library, click on the drop down arrow and select one drive. The third option is the file. A file is something in which we have all the information about the file names, the user's email address and other things. So just click on the files icon, click on files and select the file. The name of our file is book.xlsx. For the last option, we need to select the table. The table here is the one in which we have the data in our Excel file. Basically here we need to give the table name. Click on the drop down arrow and click on my table. We are done with the first step, let's create the second step. So click on new step. In this step, we need to make sure that the name of the files we have in the Excel sheet is the same as the actual file name in OneDrive. If the file name is not the same, the flow will not work. So this step is related to OneDrive. So let's search for OneDrive here. Here we have the option of OneDrive for business. Click on it. For the action, look for the option list file in folder and click on it. After that, we have to specify the folder that contains all the files and the Excel sheet. So just click on folder icon, go inside the root folder and from here click on the files folder. In the third step, we need a control that can control this whole flow. This control will use the output of the previous steps. Click on the search bar and select apply to each. Because we want our flow to work on each email address and attachment, so click on the search bar under the dynamic content and search for the value. Here it is. Click on it. After that, click on add an action. This time we need a condition. The condition will check if the file name in the OneDrive and the name of the file in the Excel sheet are the same. First of all, click on choose a value. From the dynamic content search for the name of the header of the row that contains the name of the files. Then go for is equal to. Again click on choose value. Here we need to make sure that the name in the attachment matches the name of the file. So go to dynamic content, search for the display name and select it. We are done with the action. Now we need our flow to do an action if the condition is true. Click on add an action. Here we need to fetch the content of our files. So click on the search area, search for OneDrive, click on OneDrive for business and choose get file content. Now we need to make sure that each and every file has a unique identifier that we can use to send files. So click on the search area and under dynamic content select ID. Till now we are done with getting the content of files and assigning the IDs. Now we need to create a flow to send emails. So again, click on add an action. This time look for Outlook because we will be using Outlook to send out emails. After that, select send an email. Here we need to specify to whom we want to send the email. Click on the search bar in front of two and click on dynamic content. From the list, search for the email. Here the email is the name of the row for email addresses in our Excel sheet. So you have to make sure that you are using the right naming conventions. After two, now we need to customize the subject of our emails. For email subjects, you can either go for generic content or you can have dynamic for each email. I will write generic content here. Everyone will receive this subject as an email. 
For the body, we need to customize it. For the name of the recipient, I will select a dynamic content that will fetch the name of each recipient from Excel sheet. So under the dynamic content, look for the name and select it. After that, add a customized message as per your liking. Now we will add a name without an extension. This name is the name of the attachment. Let's have some more customized messages. In order to attach the attachment, click on show advanced options. Look for the option that says attachment name under the dynamic content, select name and for the attachment content, select file content. We're done here and we need to save the flow. Now open the Excel sheet and here we need an extension. Under the data section, here we already have an extension with the name of flow. In your case, click on insert tab and then click on add-ins from the store. Search for Microsoft flow. Click on add and you're good to go. Now let's go back and click on flow icon in the menu ribbon. A new window will open with all the available flows. Here we have our flow. Click on run button. After that, you might need to sign into these three applications. Click on continue. Before you click run flow, select the rows of which you want to flow to run. After that, click on run flow. Here we have a message. Your flow run successfully started. Finally, click on done button and we are done. At the end, to confirm if it is working or not, open Outlook. Here you can see that we have successfully received an email with attachment in our Outlook inbox. That shows our flow is working successfully without any error. So that's how you send emails automatically to everyone with attachments from the Excel file. So that's it from this video. Hope you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in another video.